and people's reluctance of not wanting that type of firepower. I get it. It'll be interesting to see what um, Jeff Sessions says about all of this. An Alabama high school senior, uh, some great news for a high school senior with Down syndrome. Something beautiful happened. Who am I talking about? Well, an Alabama high school senior saw his varsity football dreams come true. This was on Friday night when he ran 35-yard touchdown on his first first play. Jake Pratt, who was down syndrome, was then uh, mobbed by his uh, teammates in their win over Briarwood uh, Christian School. Pratt's sister, Amy Hyde, was in the stands and caught the touchdown moment on video. She posted it on Twitter where it's been retweeted 51,000 times has captured the attention of Pittsburgh Steelers, Atlanta Falcons, and many NFL personalities. That's so awesome. That's what life is all about. Very special moment. He was so happy. Kathy Pratt, the 18-year-old mother, told uh, the 18-year-old's mother, rather, told ALs.com, Jake will remember all of this uh, for the rest of his life. It will be life-changing experience. Um, while players on both sides were made aware of the play ahead of time, Pratt has attended every summer workout and weightlifting session this summer. His parents had asked the coaching staff if he could dress for the game with the rest of his teammates after spending several seasons as the team's manager. And everybody is just celebrating. So, folks, even with Down syndrome, which uh, a lot of folks are affected with that, uh, it, it is nice. Uh, that it's not just uh, you know TV shows that you see it that, that special folks can attend, uh, but his teammates treated him like just one of the team, and uh, he scored big time for his team, and thank God for that. But it just goes to show you, even when you have something that's challenging like that, you can work through it. And uh, he had support from his parents, from his community, from his school. Not everybody has such support, and it's just really nice to see that people – um, have helped and rallied around him despite some of his disadvantages. They were able to turn that around. So I just wanted to bring that nice story to you. Um, there's a lot of bad stories out there, and whenever I come across a good story, something uh, heartfelt, you know I'm going to bring it to you. And uh, we need it, especially in the day and times that we live in with all the uh, crazy stuff that's going on. Uh, for our Texan friends, that are dealing with the aftermath, uh, it's, it's not even completely over because two more days of rain uh, predicted there for the, the greater uh, coastal areas there of, of Texas and Louisiana. Redcross.org, redcross.org, you can give a donation there. Uh, help out as much as you can to make you feel good. And uh, you can. And it's an extension of yourself, the way you got to look at it. When you give a donation, you're not there, but in spirit you can be. So uh, you might have to use somebody else's computer if you don't have one, but uh, you can just use your credit card, redcross.org, make that donation. And uh, help out a friend because these people certainly have been uprooted literally from their homes. Uh, People on rooftops, cars flooded out. I mean, they're going to have problems for a while being able to have any type of normalcy to their life. And money does make a difference. Um, It will give them some some hot foods, some warm clothes to get into. And there's a lot of children and families have been uh, totally disrupted from the whole thing. Just imagine this has got to be relatable for you to be in that situation because it could be you. And this is a great moment to pay it forward. Believe me, that's, uh, you know, everybody's saying pay it forward, but it's good karma, you know, to help other people. That's what we're supposed to be doing anyways. Life is just so much nicer when we help each other and, carry the cross, so to speak, and uh, be with uh, somebody else and and, and just uh, go through it uh, because you might need somebody uh, someday. And by doing this, it will come back to you uh, tenfold, hundred hundredfold, I believe. And I've seen it true in my own life. You just reach out and, and uh, stop thinking about uh, your own situation and put your eyes on somebody else's situation and uh, make a big difference. Um, you'll be thrilled. So if you haven't done it already, do it. Uh, whether it's 10 bucks or $25, um, your charity of choice, I say Red Cross, it could be the Salvation Army. Um, it could be local initiatives happening in the local Houston area. 
Uh, but there's plenty of um, opportunities to be able to uh, give of your time and maybe your business. And maybe there's something that you could offer. Um, maybe there's a service, something that uh, you make that you're able to uh, maybe donate. What they're looking for right now, what the big need is, is uh, besides your donation there is boats. They're still rescuing people in big ways. Like I say, a lot of that rain is just still coming down and uh, wish the rain would stop, but it's not. Mother Nature is still not cooperating. So anyways, keep the family bare minimal. The families there in Texas in your prayers. We got some rain here in the Bay Area, and there's a disturbance in South Carolina that could be actually heading this way, affecting another another storm front, affecting uh, South Carolina and Georgia and Florida. So we're kind of keeping an eye on that disturbance right now as we're uh, supposed to have some uh, river flooding in our area here in the Tampa Bay Area as uh, we're tape- we're live here and for some of our affiliates that actually uh, carry the show at another time. Appreciate you so much. If you like the show, share the show. You can do that through uh, email, social media, word of mouth, any way you can to get for the people out there to more places. We appreciate that. Another way is becoming a monthly For the People supporter. You can do that on our front page 24 hours a day at ForThePeopleShow.com. We appreciate it so much. I'm Keith Allen saying all the best. May God bless. May God bless.